Manchester United winger Antony admitted it was good to be back at Old Trafford despite seeing his side lose one, zero against Crystal Palace. The Brazilian was spotted inside the ground on Saturday afternoon as United fell to a fourth Premier League defeat of the season. Joachim Anderson's deflected effort put Palace ahead inside 25 minutes, with Eric Ten Hag's side unable to find a breakthrough despite dominating possession. Antony took a leave of absence from football during the international break in order to address allegations of abuse made against him in Brazil. He strongly denies the claims and voluntarily agreed to meet with Greater Manchester Police GMP earlier this week. Palace United confirmed on Friday morning that Antony would return into the squad once he returned to England. The winger arrived at Carrington on Saturday morning and was pictured entering Old Trafford in the afternoon. Alongside two pictures of himself outside the ground, Antony wrote on his Instagram story, Good to be back. Antony did not return in time to be available for Saturday's match, but he could be part of the squad that hosts Galatasaray in the Champions League on Tuesday. Eric Ten Hag said in his Friday press conference that he believes the winger has retained his fitness despite not playing. United's decision to reintegrate Antony into the squad comes after he spoke with GMP. The club stressed that their decision came as the player had not been arrested, detained, or charged. A statement read, Since allegations were first made in June, Antony has cooperated with police inquiries in both Brazil and the UK, and he continues to do so. As Antony's employer, Manchester United has decided that he will resume training at Carrington and be available for selection, while police inquiries proceed. This will be kept under review pending further developments in the case. As a club, we condemn acts of violence and abuse. We recognize the importance of safeguarding all those involved in this situation and acknowledge the impact these allegations have on survivors of abuse. Jaden Sancho was pictured at Manchester United's training ground while his teammates were being beaten by Crystal Palace on Saturday afternoon. The pound 73 million winger has been frozen out by Eric Ten Hag after he publicly challenged his manager's justification for leaving him out against Arsenal several weeks ago, referring to himself as a scapegoat. Since then, he's failed to be picked and is training away from the first team. His exodus continued this weekend. Sancho was pictured with a young fan and fellow United player Kabi Maynou at Carrington in a post shared on Instagram. The England international was dressed in a tracksuit with the social media post, stating that it was during an U18-S game, which occurred at a similar time to the Red Devils' defeat to Crystal Palace. Sancho last played for United in late August, and there appears no sign of him being recalled anytime soon, Ten Hag has continued to be quizzed on the future of the former Borussia Dortmund man. The United boss claimed any route back into the first team depends on his player and was keen to shut down discussions around Sancho this week. I don't talk about personal issues and I don't talk about players who are not available, he said before the Palace loss. Sancho's exodus has gone as far as him not even dining with the first team squad. Instead, he's been forcing to train with the youth ranks. Several of his teammates have urged him to say sorry to the manager, who has shown himself to be a ruthless taskmaster. Pressure, though, is ramping up on Ten Hag after he saw his side lose, yet again, to the Eagles, whom they'd only beaten in the Carabao Cup a few days previously. A 1-0 win for the visitors resigned United to successive home losses in the Premier League, after Brighton had also left with three points. It means across all competitions, that Ten Hag has already seen his side lost five times in 11 outings, despite spending huge sums again in the summer. United were expected to build on last season's third-place finish, but are not in danger of losing touch at the top. But their manager has called for unity. He said, It's a bad start. We have to catch up and do better. This is not good enough. Of course, it's frustrating for everyone, especially the fans. It's frustrating, but for us as well, the players, and for me, we have to stay together fight together and get better and make sure we get improvement. Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho has been spotted watching the academy team at Carrington alongside Kabi Maynou following his fallout with manager Eric Ten Hag last month. Following the defeat to Arsenal, Ten Hag told the media Sancho was not in the first-team squad due to his training performances. The 23-year-old refuted this claim on social media and declared he had been made a scapegoat at Old Trafford. Since then, 
The forward has been moved to an individual training scheme away from the rest of the first team squad with Ten Hag stressing the onus was on Sancho to regain his status in the team. In September, while his teammates prepared for the visit of Brighton and Hove Albion, the former Borussia Dortmund man watched the under-18s face Nottingham Forest at the Reds' training ground. On a miserable Saturday afternoon, while United once again prepared for a Premier League clash, Sancho was back at Carrington with Maynew. The young central midfielder is currently out of the squad due to an ankle injury suffered during the preseason tour of the U.S. Sancho and Maynew posed for a photo with fans as the young Reds put Newcastle United to the sword. Reuben Curley and Shea Lacey's braces, combined with an Ethan Wheatley penalty, secured a comfortable five. One victory over the Magpies in the U-18 Premier League. While Maynew will hopefully be back in action soon following his injury, it is unclear where the future lies for Sancho. Men. Sport understands the Englishman is open to a move in January should his exile from the squad continue. Dortmund and Barcelona have both been linked with his signature. After three consecutive losses, many thought last Saturday's win over Burnley marked the beginning of a new chapter for Manchester United. Notably, this also featured the start of Hannibal Medjbri's senior old Trafford career, with the 20-year-old hugely impressive at Turf Moor. This display earned him the right to start midweek against Crystal Palace in the Cup seeing a 3-0 victory as he played 71 minutes. Both these games showcased Hannibal's incredible, tenacious attitude, which made him unbeatable in the press. Yet as the team sheets were announced on the final day of September, Hannibal's name lay with the substitutes. To make matters worse, he was snubbed from appearing altogether. Hannibal deserves to be playing. Similarly to the situation with his teammate Alejandro Garnacho, Hannibal was dropped in a move which saw a serious deterioration in performance levels from the team. The reason United found it so easy against Palace in the Cup was due to the midfield doing all the running and pressing, which kept Palace firmly locked in their own half. While United did dominate on Saturday also, the decision-making just wasn't there for United, which left Eric Ten Hag slamming his side. But it was Ten Hag who decided to drop two of the best decision-makers from midweek. Hannibal has earned the right to play, and Ten Hag not playing him has cost the Dutch boss three points and another loss at Old Trafford. Exceptional Medjbri to start on Tuesday. After Hannibal's first game against Burnley, he was lauded as being exceptional by former United defender and MUTV pundit Wes Brown. So it only makes sense he is straight back into the lineup against Galatasaray on Tuesday. I imagine that Ten Hag will stick Facundo Palistri on the bench after he struggled with his full Premier League debut. Therefore, the move could be Bruno on the right, with Hannibal back in midfield. Hannibal Medjbri may only be 20, but he has already made his mark as a Manchester United first team.